Hello, everyone. My name is Vince Palco with GPRS, and we're back for another safety chat. I think we're on our sixth one. We put these together so that we could stay in contact, keep the conversation going from a safety standpoint with all our constituents, customers, and the like. And uh, today we have an amazing guest. Very honored to have him. Uh, he took a little break in the action to chat with us today. We've got Matt Aston, President and CEO of GPRS. Matt, welcome. Thanks, Vince. We're really looking forward to uh, today's talk. I want to have you take the audience back to a time which I feel is your origin story of kind of how it all started. It's interesting to hear, you know, picture young Matt as a college kid helping dad out with the concrete cutting business. And the two kind of things that kind of spurred uh, this whole genesis for GPRS, if you could kind of share that story, that'd be awesome. Yeah, so um, I'm, I'm very blessed to uh, have my dad, you know, Skip Aston, as as a father, and uh, the example that uh, that he set as a kid. He started his business, um, and he was a one man shop when when he started back in 1980. I was three years old, and um, it was concrete cutting, and so yeah, he hired people and he built up this concrete cutting business and mostly throughout Ohio and they had an office in, in Detroit and uh, you know probably 15 years ago he bought another operation down in Miami but um, you're growing up you know I, I saw him you know go to work and I you know, saw his role change from when he was you know wearing jeans and a t-shirt to go cut concrete every day um, to uh, you know, when he started wearing you know, you know pants and buying offices and you know growing his business and all through high school and and college, I would help on on their jobs and uh, I, I really screwed up on a few of them and uh, yeah that, that that's really where I was most exposed to the dangers that come along with with saw cutting and cord drilling, um, mostly with having having to do with electrical being buried or embedded you know within or immediately below a concrete slab um I'll, I'll back up just a little bit so um when i when i was i worked in finance for a little bit after i graduated college and i was a financial analyst for a large you know automotive company here in town dana commercial credit was the division that i was part of and um I, I had my review after I was there for a year, and it was, they gave me a, a nice review and uh, a decent raise. And um, but I was a little disappointed, so I, I was frustrated. And then my wife called me, you know, right at that same time, and said, "Hey, you're not going to believe this, but I'm pregnant." And uh, I was out. I was at my cube at work, and. Um, very happy and very uncertain of you know, you know what's this what's this going to mean and um, yeah I'm a numbers guy so I start thinking about numbers right away and knowing my wife well I knew she wouldn't go back to work as a teacher when our baby was born and so um, yeah, I started just putting some thoughts together and you know I thought okay the best thing I can do you know is is probably go work with my dad and. Um, I'll do whatever he has me do. I mean, if he wants me to go cut concrete and core drill, you know, I'll I'll do that. Um, but I need to I need to provide here. And so I went, set up a lunch with my dad. We went to Charlie's restaurant on uh, Monroe Street, and I, I said, Hey, Dad, you know, how would you feel about me uh, coming to work with you in, in in Ohio Concrete? And he said, you know, Matt, that'd be great. He said, yeah, I've got to think about, you know, well, what I have you do. But my thought is you, you probably start in the field. If things go well. Yeah, you know, maybe you work your way into uh, into a sales spot. You do well there. Maybe you work your way into a, a management spot. And if you really enjoy this, maybe you could buy the company from me at, at some point. And I thought, OK, yeah, that, that, that sounds good, Dad. And uh, about a week later, he called me up and wanted to meet up again, and he said, "Hey, I I, I think this is wrong. I don't think he, that we should do this. I don't think you should come into business with me." He said, "I really think you should do something on your own." And okay, 
what changed and um he knew me well and uh he said look i think it was it's gonna bug you you know no matter how well you do it's gonna bug you that you didn't start this and uh you're always gonna wonder you know could i could i have done this could i have done it from from the ground up and so he said i think you should do something on your own and okay you know i was so I kind of put all my cards on the table and said, you know, look, I, I have no idea what I would do and I don't have that much money saved up. So he gave me a loan and he gave me a magazine. And in that magazine, um, you know, there were some adver- advertisements for yeah, new services, new technologies. And um, one of the advertisements was geophysical survey systems. who We bought most of our equipment from over the last 20 years. And um, they talked about this ground penetrating radar. So my mind went back to this grocery store job that I was on where we had to uh, we had to cut this trench from just behind the cash registers. Just think of a typical grocery store and we're, we're going down the freezer aisle. So they're putting in a new chiller lines, you know, running, running the freezers. And so we've got to cut this trench right down the middle of, of the freezer aisle. It's probably um, you know, 75 or 80 feet, and we get probably five or six feet in, and I see sparks fly, and the saw shuts off, the lights go out, and, you know, everything in the store goes dark. It's 12:30 or one o'clock in the morning. Um, all this work had to be done at night, and um, I look at the guy and say, "What what happened?" And he said, "Well, we just we just cut through power and." um yeah we're, we're done for tonight so i mean maybe a half hour into the job we're, we're, we're done again he calls the superintendent the superintendent says well you know how'd you cut through the power and he says look you guys laid it out and it was running right through the middle of of, of your layout and uh so my mind sees this advertisement for you know this ground penetrating radar and i went back to that specific job and thought okay if they would have used this on that job and laid out the electrical prior to the saw cutting taking place, you know, that whole incident's avoided. I bet I can build a business out of out of doing this. And so I called my dad up and said, hey, I saw this ground penetrating radar thing. And he said, really? He said, you know, I, I um, said that there's this remote control demolition equipment called Brock equipment. I don't know if it's still around or not, but he thought that would be a really good business and he liked the idea of the ground penetrating radar but uh he thought this brock equipment was going to be kind of the next big thing and i said no i think i can do the ground penetrating radar i i i'll I'll learn how to do it and you know just get get it started so real quick number one what a gift your father gave you in terms of no i'm not gonna have you come work with me (laughs) I was, I was I was irritated at the time. Um, sure. I, you know, man, what, what's wrong with me? Well, this is my dad. <laughs> um, yeah, I, he just said yes a week ago. Now he's now he's changing his mind. But I've thanked him. I've written him a few notes over the last twenty years and uh, said, "Hey, you you saw something in me that I did not see in myself." You know, we've we've talked about over the last year and a half or so in GPRS, we're capable of more than what we know. And I I didn't think I was capable of, of starting a business or um, you know, introducing this new technology to to a market. And um, but we are we are capable of way more than what we give ourselves credit for.